everybody, I'm Sanji. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Welcome, welcome for those that are new. And for those of you that have checked me out before, I appreciate you. Welcome back. So let's get into it. We're going to talk about your Venus sign. What's that? Is it the same as your sun, moon, or rising? No. Your Venus sign affects two things. How you see money and how you see love. It comes into play when you get those feelings of attraction for someone. And it kind of gives us a guide about what will turn you on and what will turn you off. So if you don't know your Venus sign, pause right here. Go on over to your search engine, type in birth chart, follow the directions. You'll need your time of birth, date of birth, and place of birth for you or that special someone. And then come on back here and find out what it is I have to tell you about what that Venus sign will reveal. Stay tuned. See you soon. <laughs> Okay, so we are discussing Venus in Gemini. Now, you know, Venus in Gemini. <sighs> Let's just get into it, okay? Remember, I didn't write it, number one. <laughs> this isn't everything. Can your person or you be a lot different than what they're saying about you? Absolutely. But uh, for the purposes of trying to understand Venus and Gemini, yeah, this is what they're saying about you. Venus and Gemini is flirtatious, which is kind of consistent with the Gemini sign. Superficial and inconsistent. Don't kill the messenger. Now, they're great communicators. Okay, let's talk about the upside. They're open, they're friendly, they're direct, they're sociable. They're just impatient and a little reckless. Yeah, um, because of their carefree attitude, they sometimes come off as childish. Yeah, um, they're being more childlike, like, you know, in a Michael Jackson kind of way, maybe. That wasn't a good example. I don't know. You know what I mean? Let's just keep going. Um, they, gosh, they say that, they got to say something else. They say you're fickle, you're shallow. Uh, oh, oh, here's something good. You make the most out of life. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. Um, you're playful. Yeah, you, you're a tease. You like to tease the person you're interested in. You have witty conversation, and you can converse about almost anything. You know, you're not lost at any conversation. Typically, you can contribute something, even if it's just a gesture or a well-placed joke or, you know, a laugh. Um, <laughs> they say you have a tendency to omit details, though, Venus and Gemini. Um, they, they say you need your space. You're really not one to run down the commitment aisle. No, they are to say that you're the one that's typically backing out the door. Hmm. They got good manners, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say Venus and Gemini has great social skills and good manners. Um, you're spontaneous, so, you know, you're not boring. Um, you're bright and, and good-natured. You're typically fine. Yeah. Venus and Gemini usually got it going on in the attractiveness department. The looks are... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, well, you analyze everything about the other person, but you really don't want them to analyze your behavior. Kind of one-sided. Um, 
you know, uh, but you keep it spicy. Yeah. Venus in Gemini likes to smack it, flip it. Yeah. Spicy. Um, you typically know a whole lot of people, the latest gossip, and have a large network of friends. And you would kind of like for your romantic partner to let you kick it with your friends as much as possible. Um, I don't know what to say, Venus and Gemini. I tried, I looked, you know, but you fine. And you're a good lover. And you're fine to be around, you know? You just not trying to commit or get hemmed up or, you know, until they say you mature. Um, you tend to, the best marriages for you are typically later in life. But, you know, you're involved with the person you're with when you're in front of them and you can be super romantic. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you that. And, you know, I'm going to put that challenge out there to you, Venus and Gemini. I want you to email me and tell me some more great qualities about you that they're not saying. You know, they are just, they did you dirty. You know, I felt bad because they just kept saying you were attractive, but you're flirtatious and superficial and fickle and on to the next and is that true is that you venus and gemini that can't be true come on y'all email me let me know i'm gonna do a follow-up video for venus and gemini because y'all got the short end of the stick for real so that's it <clears throat> kind of short because I just don't want to drag Venus and Gemini no more. And if Venus and Gemini is someone that you are attracted to, you know, write me and tell me all their fine qualities. D -d 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 don't give me any more amen corners because <laughs> I got a book load that's kind of confirming it. Um, let me know those good things. Share them in the comments so that people aren't scared to date <laughs> Venus and Gemini. All right, well, on to the next sign. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check me out on Sanji.com or over on Instagram or Twitter at Sanji. Love you, Venus and Gemini. Sorry, don't kill the messenger. I didn't write it. I didn't. I love you. You're cute. <laughs> Bye.